So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises by the time, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, every single human being in that time is a loser. Regardless and despite what this human being is, whether he or she are rich, poor, strong, weak, influential, or being influenced by someone else, a leader or being led, every single human being in this time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had created, and every single human being that's living in this time is a loser. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes an exception. Allah makes an exception that every single human being that Allah had created on the face of this earth in this time that they live in time are losers except. Who are those that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes an exception of? Except those who believe. Believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had ordained upon us to believe in. salihat And do righteous actions. Act upon the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uphold righteousness. Enjoin and encourage one another in upholding the truth. And encourage one another when it comes to patience. Allah wants us to understand the importance of time in our lives. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to understand how important it is for us to take care of our time. Even though Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given it to us. Allah azza wa jal had given it to us and Allah azza wa had granted us time for free. But it's not free for you to do whatever you want. It's for free from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but not free for you to do whatever you want. Allah had granted you this time for you to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that time and for you to take care of that time, for you to uphold the truth in that time and for you to do what's right in that time. Take care of it, value it. Appreciate the time of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that had given you. That's why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in another hadith, اغتنم خمسا قبل خمس. Take advantage of five before five. And one of them, وفراغك قبل شغلك. Take advantage of your time before you become occupied. Take advantage of this time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given you before you become so occupied that you don't even have time anymore. In another hadith, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also says, نِعْمَتَانِ مَغْبُونٌ فِيهِمَا كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ الصَّحَّةُ وَالْفَرَاغِ Two bounties, two gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many people are deceived and deluded by those gifts. They are deceived by those gifts. They do not take advantage of those gifts. Just because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us those gifts for free, it doesn't mean that we don't take care of them. It doesn't mean that we don't value them, appreciate them. What are those two gifts that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam makes mention of that people are deluded and people are deceived by? Your health and your time. Your health and your time. You didn't pay for this health. The only time that you pay for this health is when you lose your health. You become unhealthy. And most of the times, it's your own making. Most of the times. It's your own making. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't charge you for your health. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't charge you for your time. He had given you that time for free. But just because He had given it to you for free doesn't mean you abuse it and misuse it. You take care of it the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to take care of it. To the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum and our predecessors, time was, was worth, time was worth more than gold. Time was worth to them more than gold. They even said it. Imam Shafi'i goes past a group of people wasting their time at night and he said, Wallahi, if I could purchase their time with gold, I would have purchased their time of them with gold. That's how important time was to them. Why? Because they always looked at time as an opportunity for them to do something good in their life. 